Okay. Well, this is a new radio, and I haven't done anything on on YouTube for a while, so uh, let me turn this down a little bit here. There we go. Okay, this is a new Hermes Light too. Well, it's new to me. It's been out for a couple of years, I think. It is a really awesome, awesome device. This is a a, a complete um, uh, SDR transceiver, and you can see it's pretty small. Um, it's got some stuff in the back too. It's mostly I/O stuff. Um, you can put uh, uh, put a 10 megahertz uh, frequency constant and things like that on it. Separate second receiver antenna, all kinds of things. Um, uh, I won't go into all the details of it because the net's full of them. But anyway, I've been using mine for quite a quite a bit this weekend uh, or the last few days, and it's been working great, uh, really great. Okay, for those of you who haven't seen it before, there's a network connection there, and it's connected directly to this uh, laptop. Um, and this is the software that I'm running. Uh, you can see I'm listening to some guys on 7218, and I can like move it around and see everybody else that's there. Typ typical, uh, uh, typical of one of these, but it's got all kinds of capabilities as far as adjustments and things. Um, I'm constantly learning some new things about it. The thing is, this is uh, uh, this is called Thetis. Uh, it's free uh, and it's uh, open source. Um, and uh, you, I added that meter to it, and, and that meter down here, um, and I can change the background and do all kinds of stuff with it. It's pretty cool, but it's only one of uh, uh, several different programs you can use to, to run uh, SDR. Now, earlier today, um, uh, an hour or so ago, I got on CW for the first time with it and um, worked some people and did really well. Um, I uh, made one contact, I think, on sideband, or on CW, and then a couple people on sideband. Um, so that was pretty cool. And, and it's funny, because I'm sitting in front of a computer to do all of this. And uh, the Hermes only runs about 5 watts. Um, I think mine only really gets to about 3. I haven't, I, I haven't accurately adjusted things yet, but it's, it, it, apparently I'm only driving about 3 watts, which I have going into this uh, KXPA100, um, which it drives it pretty well. I can get between 90 and 100 watts out. Um, so that's why people have been hearing me at least. But uh, anyhow, so that's the new toy. And that's, uh, uh, and the antenna that I, I'm using is a, uh, uh, it's a Step IR uh, DB18, uh, two, element, two elements on 40 meters and three elements on every other band. So, uh, uh, it's we're about ready to leave tomorrow, so the uh, everything is set. I'll be retracting all the elements and uh, um, getting it ready for winter, pretty much, because we're not going to be here for probably a month. So, and all this is going with me. So we shall see. Anyway, um, so yeah, check out the Hermes and uh, or any SDR. And this 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 software I think really only works for with Hermes and the Anons. Uh, the difference is the Anon is over two grand. This was $400. Um, and that's with the extra I.O. ports, which I haven't even figured out all the things it does yet. So, uh, so learning experience, and that's what it's all about. Anyway, uh, have a good one. And uh, uh, hope to uh, meet any of you on the, on the air. That'd be great. 73s.